Hello students. Today I'm going to take you through some of the basic commands that are used in AutoCAD Electrical. But before we get started, I want you to verify and make sure that you do have AutoCAD Electrical by looking at the top of your screen here where it's shown AutoCAD Electrical. Okay, some of the most important commands that we're going to use are going to be used for copy, cut, and pasting and moving. So we'll go ahead and get started on those. Let's go ahead and click on the Home tab here which all of our commands are going to be on, and I'm going to go ahead and put a line in here. So all I do is click on the line, and when I come over here, it's going to want me to put it in a certain area. So I'm just going to click anywhere here on the screen once, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to click again. Okay, and notice that I have a line. I still have the cursor We're wanting to draw another line, so to end that, I'm just going to press the space bar. Okay, and now that's gone. The space bar is exactly the same as the enter key in AutoCAD. So we have a line, and now we may want to move that line. So I'm going to type M-O-V-E in my command line. Notice it's asking me in the command line, what do I want to do? It's saying select objects. So this is the only object that we have, so we'll select it by clicking on it. Notice it turned into a different type of line. And if we're done selecting objects, we can just press our space bar to tell it that we're done. Now it wants to tell us where do we want to grab it from. Okay, I'm just going to grab it right here in the center and click. Okay, and notice now if I move my crosshairs, I'm going to have the line going with me. So there it is. I have moved it from one place to another. Okay, the next command that I'm going to do is called copy. And I'm going to copy this by typing copy in the command line. Okay, and you can use all these command lines up here as well. These are just shortcuts that you can click on, but AutoCAD can be used by either typing in the command or clicking on the command. So we've done copy already, so we're going to copy the selected items. We're going to click on this line, noticing that it changed. And if we're done, we just hit the space bar to enter and say that we're done. Now we must grab a hold of the base point, so we're going to click here in the center. And now if I come up here, I can copy it to here. Notice I still have the command active, so anywhere that I move to and click, I get another line. Okay? So if I'm done, all I do is press the space bar to end the command. Okay, now we've done copy. I want to show you how to delete some things by editing. So we're going to go E erase and we can click on erase here now the objects that we're going to select I'm going to start by drawing a blue box which is called a blue window and notice that everything had to be in the blue window once it's selected if I'm done selecting the items to erase I press the enter key and it's gone okay I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on erase up here which is the same command Okay, and now I'm going to use what's called a green line. If I just touch it with a green line, okay, it doesn't have to be completely in the window. So notice the line changed to short dashes. If I'm done selecting, I press the space bar for enter, and now it has been deleted. So again, I'm going to go ahead and try one more time with erase. Okay, if I just start typing them, the command comes up here at the bottom. Now I'm going to draw two lines lines and get rid of them. Okay, so it just touched those two. They've both been selected. If I'm done selecting, I press the space bar or enter to erase the lines. So the next one here, I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to go ahead and erase this one by typing the E, erase, and hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to put this one in a blue window, which means the whole thing must be inside the window. Once I have it in there and I'm done, press the space bar. Okay, at any point I make a mistake, I can always use the shortcut Control Z, which is an undo feature, where it will undo your last thing that you did on the screen. Press and hold the Control key, and then press Z at the same time, and if I just keep doing it, the lines will come back to where it was like we never had it happen to begin with. Or we can do redo up here. Okay, so there is all of our lines again. So we have copied, we have cut, we have erased, and now we're going to do a move. We did the move as well. 
So with these short commands, it will help you tremendously on using AutoCAD Electrical.